Welcome to my spotlight video about TopoMap. My name is Fabian and I did this work together with my colleagues at the Autonomous Systems Lab of ETH Zurich. Our goal was to develop a framework which enables mobile robots only equipped with a monocular camera to perform path planning tasks within large-scale visuals land maps. There we encountered two main challenges. First, we do not have any direct free space or obstacle information, but only sparse visual landmarks. And second, many state-of-the-art planners are computationally too expensive to be deployed on mobile platforms with restricted resources. We therefore propose a simple but effective planning concept. I would like to highlight our core idea in this image, where we would like to plan a path from the start to goal position. In an offline step, we segment the whole free space of a given map into convex free space regions. These regions are the vertices of our topological map. This makes the planning very simple, as each of the vertices can be crossed in a straight line, as shown by the drawn path. In the following, I would like to show the different steps of our algorithm, which are also our main contributions. First, we show that we can extract reliable free space information only from sparse visual landmarks. This means that we do not need any additional depth sensors such as RGBD cameras or laser scanners. We then developed a voxel-based growing and merging algorithm which segments this free space into convex voxel clusters. Like this, we get a topological map of the environment. Finally, we also show how to perform simple path planning on such a map using the A-star planning algorithm. We evaluated our algorithm on various real-world datasets such as office environments or open spaces, and we found that it is able to adapt to different free space and obstacle configurations. We also compared our obtained path lengths to these of our T-star and found that they are very similar, but the computation times on the topological map are orders of magnitude lower than these of our T-star. Finally, we tested the topo map on the real robot. Using the camera images, we could perform global visual localization in the SLAM map. We created the topological map from the SLAM map, which we could then use for path planning. This should demonstrate the usefulness of topo map for real-world robotic applications. Thank you a lot for listening and I hope to see you during my interactive presentation.